So here we are at Miami Airport. We're just waiting for our flight. That's Isabella and Aaliyah. And me? I'm their friend without benefits. My job is to document the trip and keep all the deadbeats away. The girls are after the beach in the sun. I suggested using my pool in the backyard, but that apparently wasn't good enough for them, so here we go to Ecuador. We heard a lot of great things about this beach town, Montanita, so we decided to check it out. If you want to experience the Montanita vibe, there's only one way to do it. Uh, well, actually there's two. Either get your ass over there, or let us take you. We arrive in Guayaquil, the gateway to the Galapagos, and now Montanita. Don't let the chaotic road scare you. This place has a charm all on its own. You got a beautiful waterfront, great food, especially the seafood. They even got freaking iguanas. Whoa, looks like we're losing one. We gotta get to the beach fast. No back seats? Make one. Seatbelts? Who needs them? Damn, looks like we lost another one. On the way, you'll pass through the province of Santa Elena. Don't worry, ladies, we're, we're almost there. Finally, we arrive in Montanita. You'll know it's your stop when all the good looking people get off the bus. People come here from all over the world. It's like the United Nations, except they smoke more pot. Actually, this place looks pretty dope. Anywhere you don't have to wear a shirt, it's my kind of place. All these vendors are not one caricature artist? Hmm, I could make some money here. Hmm, we're gonna like it here. There's all kinds of interesting characters here. Hey, is that Shrek? Or is that his Ecuadorian cousin, El Shreko? Those waves look dangerous. I'd better keep an eye on them. What's the most fun you could have on a beach?
place gets really busy. If you can't make friends here, then you can't really make friends anywhere. Me and the girls decide to head back to town. From the looks of things, the town's the exact same way as the beach. There's lots of food choices too. There's international cuisine, there's seafood, and there's also local favorites as well, like minestra, bolognese, and patacones. Now, if you don't know what that is, don't worry, you'll like it. Just go with it. Holy crap, I think this guy's coming after me. I have no money, take everything. Oh, whew. These guys mean no harm, I think. Montanita is in a party mood every night. But tonight's not just another night. If you're planning to be here for New Year's Eve, make sure you reserve well ahead. <laughs> Ecuadorians have this custom where they make cardboard figures called Enyo Viejo. They represent famous people or fictional characters. The idea is to burn these suckers, to get rid of all the bad spirits that have been haunting you in the old year. And if you had a really lousy year, you can give a good kicking to your annual viejo. I don't know if it really helps, but it sure is fun. It's easy to lose your head with so many good-looking and fun people around you. But if you do, don't worry. You won't be alone. The party spills out onto the beach, and everybody's welcome to try out their favorite dance move. Those of you who couldn't find the bathroom the next morning, well, here are the culprits. People get crazier as midnight gets closer. A lot of alcohol gets drunk, but nobody really gets stupid. Well, uh, at least there's no fights. As 
I said, Ecuadorians love their firecrackers. There's always two problems with big parties. The hangover, and then the cleanup. But I got a cure for a hangover, a dip in the ocean. And this is as quiet as this beach is ever gonna get. Ladies, please don't fake any drownings. There's too many of you with Baywatch fantasies. Hungover or not, the surfers soon get back on their boards. And even if you don't know how to surf, just grab a board. You'll have a much better chance with the ladies. And if you do want to learn, there's some good local instructors as well. Yeah, wax up that board good. Aaliyah wants to get on some big waves today. But first, she has to start off with some sand surfing, which is probably a little less fun. No paddle, position. You can see the wave, the wave is coming. Toward your feet, stand up. See? You can see? Ben. See? Ben. Bravo. Aliyah was always a diligent student at school. And as you can see, not much has really changed. One, two, three. Stop showing off, Aliyah. We know you're good, but uh, just stop showing off. Sun surfing's fun, but now it's time to do the real thing. That's okay. So this turned out to be a little bit more difficult than surfing on the sand. But be patient, Aaliyah. One day you'll be able to surf like these guys.
So now we'll talk to local surfer Mario, who also happens to be the national surfing champion of Ecuador. La ola en Montañita para surfear es, es, es increíble porque es una ola de mucho potencial. Eh, las olas en Montañita pueden llegar eh, hasta, yo creo que 4 metros. Es lo máximo que he visto yo, un día de 4 metros. Hay días más grandes, pero tiene que haber un suelo, una corriente muy grande que pueda producir olas más grandes. La mejor temporada de surf en Montañita es, es enero, febrero y marzo, porque vienen corrientes o sueles, como se les dice, del norte, y es donde la ola se pone mucho más perfecta y mucho más divertida para surfear. Y las condiciones del viento y ese tipo de cosas hace que todo se ponga como que perfecto y, y olas como que más definidas, con mejor clase. Si el mar está muy bueno, pueden ver al final donde ven las piedras, cuando el mar está muy grande se surfea allá, y si no, se surfea acá al frente. Cuando el mar está muy grande se surfean las piedras y cuando está pequeño nos venimos a surfear lo que se llama el beach break, que es la zona de playa donde todo el mundo está tomando sol y ahí al frente rompen olas muy buenas igual. Buena suerte, bienvenidos a Montañita. Okay, that's enough talking. Now let's get back on the surfboards. Even the best fall, but if you're gonna fall, make sure it's awesome. So what do you do if you're not a surfer? A bodyboard's too tame, isn't it? Not necessarily. And even if catching waves isn't your thing, there's plenty to do and see. It won't take you long to spot Argentinians sipping on their mate. It's an acquired taste, I think. Many bathing suits have been lost in these waves. So, Aliyah and Isabella decided to downgrade to boogie boards. Just for now, just for now. Ecuadorians love volleyball almost as much as they love soccer. This is the perfect place for a romantic walk. Just don't let your eyes wander. Some tourists don't want to go home, so they end up doing odd jobs. Hey, even in paradise, somebody has to work. There's also fishermen who have worked these waters for ages. Now let's talk to Francisco, a local who could tell us what life is really like here. Eh, Montañita antes, la gente, la gente que vivía acá en Montañita, vivía de la agricultura. Vivía de la pesca, vivía de sembríos como es plátano, eh, piña, sandía, melón, naranja, mandarina, todas esas cosas. Eso estamos hablando de un aproximado de unos 30, 40 años atrás. Las primeras veces que vinieron turistas a visitarnos eran unas personas que le decíamos hippies. 
eh, comenzaron a descubrirle como un punto de, para surfear. Eh, bueno, el montañita anterior eh, me gustaba mucho porque era más tranquilo que ahora. Pues en realidad, eh, donde yo vivo se escucha mucha bulla los fines de semana. Hay veces no puedo descansar. Para nuestro negocio, como dueño de acá, pues me siento bien con el montañita actual, porque antes yo era transportista, estaba fuera de mi casa trabajando y todo eso, pues estaba en la agricultura, pero ahora gracias a Dios, con el nuevo, en la actualidad montañita tenemos negocios como para sobrevivir. Soy propietario del restaurante, soy propietario de hostal, soy propietario de cyber, cabinas. As you can see, some Ecuadorians have done very well for themselves. Mi nombre es Dani Flores. So let's talk to a volunteer lifeguard who could tell us some of the fun aspects of this beach. Aquí en Montañita hay olas grandes y es una de las playas que más constante de las de olas. En otros lugares pueden permanecer de tres tres meses, dos meses sin ola, pero acá nosotros siempre todo el año tenemos olas. Sí hay un campeonato del Risk Classic que se se va a realizar la de aquí de un unas pocas semanas. Y estamos preparándonos para ese torneo también, tanto como un grupo de salvavidas y competidores. Many Ecuadorians leave the country for economic reasons. Andres here has lived in New Jersey and Brazil, but still tries to make time to come back to Montanita. Let's find out what Montanita means to him. My connection with uh, this town, it started when I was 14 years old, when I um, came for the first time with my uncle. This would be 1989, 88, around. First thing that I noticed, it was um, the crazy gringo that uh, had a bar down there in, at the point. It was an American dude that arrived here, and then he opened the bar, and then everyone hung out there. There was only one restaurant, two hotels, so it was, there wasn't a nightlife here. All we did it was sit, sit down by the beach, make a life, uh, light up a fire and then just talk and then go to sleep early around 10, 11, that's it. They started doing the, the international surfing contest. So that's how with that contest, they, uh, they, that brought more people into town. It was uh, a very basic town. It, it had um, a charming energy when you arrived. Everything was basic, it was uh, old mud, if it rained or dust. They had the first um, electronic music in Ecuador. So they had a bar, I remember, called El Pelicano, back there uh, at the point. Very important was that people had, at that time, the freedom to do, to smoke marijuana around, but not in the way that is uh, happening now. It was something, some kind of a secret thing that people did in their rooms, but you never saw anyone smoking outside, out in the open, like it is happening nowadays, you know. It was just the, the, the energy, the ambience that you can find here in Montañita. As soon as you arrive, you feel good, good vibes. Everything is relaxed. The town is much bigger now, but it's still easy to relax. Hey, I gotta install one of those in my backyard at home. And if you're one of those few people that like sunsets on the beach, then I think you're gonna like it here. So now we'll talk to one of those tourists that never left. We'll find out why he made Montanita his home. My name is Ishai Eshed. I come from Israel. Um, I uh, arrived in Ecuador first time in 2005. Started as a tour guide in Quito, volunteer at the beginning, and then started guiding tours and from tour guide, started working in agencies and getting more into tourism in uh, Quito's area. It's a little bit more developed and more organized. And to Montanita, I arrived the uh, first time after like three months working in Quito for a vacation. I got tired of the uh, snow and mountains. I asked my boss, hey, where do you go to catch some sun and beach? He said, man, you can go down to Montanita, but don't get stuck there too much, yeah? And I was like, yeah, no problem. Three, four days, I'll, I'll be back after the weekend. Came down to Montanita first time. I got back to Quito about a week and a half later. 
had seriously in trouble with my boss, but then uh, just loved every moment here and couldn't leave. Like I hang around today with people telling me stories about Montanita 18 years ago, 16 years ago, like old school surfers, local people that used to come over here five, six hours drive from Guayaquil with a four-wheel drive passing the rivers where there was no roads, no nothing. And they came over here for the point, for the wave. At the point, it all began. Okay, not here in central of Montanita. This was like more a fisherman village, like village of one above, ahead and one village before. Okay, good waves, surfers, hippies, parties, and no one to tell you no. Okay, and that's what actually started the place and people used to come in and, and enjoy the freedom that you have. Like there's no norma in Montanita. People hang around at the beach, drink beers, you know, socialize, do bonfires down at the beach and uh, that's how it started. And from there, you know, getting in, more surfers, more surf competence, more girls coming in and with the girls comes the parties, come more audience and more crowd and it got bigger and bigger and bigger. Unfortunately, Isabella has to head back to Canada. But don't worry, not us. Artists and street performers come here from all over South America. We'll talk to an Argentinian band who has crisscrossed the continent but always stays the longest in Montanita. las distintas cosas como la música, el teatro, la danza, el cine, la fotografía. En el parque montamos nuestro espectáculo con luces, sonidos, gradas para que la... entonces la gente empezó a llegar y empezó a descubrir que es agradable estar sentado una hora viendo un espectáculo, ¿no? Trabajando al sombrero. Por ser artista a veces tan mal visto en las fronteras, como que a veces tenés que ocultarte ocultar tu, tu historia para... Turista, tienes distintos niveles de turista. Tienes un turista que, que es más ecológico, que cuida más el lugar y tienes un turista que realmente no tiene ni idea y solo viene porque montaña es un lugar, entre comillas, es un lugar de locos, ¿no? En donde se encuentran guitarras, se encuentran gente tocando, gente haciendo malabares, gente haciendo acrobacia, gente haciendo artesanías, surfeando, es un lugar de surf en donde todo el mundo viene a surfear. Antiguamente esto estaba más escondido, entonces la gente solo venía a sentirse libre. Y hoy por hoy llegan los mismos turistas a buscar eso, ¿no? Que es la libertad de estar tranquilos en un lugar. O sea, hoy por hoy es como que se está haciendo un punto, un punto así como muy, por los fines de semana, como se transforma en una pequeña ciudad. Como pequeña ciudad, a veces hay caos. Somos del elenco circular y estamos haciendo un temita que se llama Tunga Tanga. Tunga Tanga. The beach is safe at any time, so no worries if you go on a midnight stroll. Just watch out for those waves. Aaliyah. And to top off the night, it's never a bad idea to have a drink in that cool, cool ocean breeze. Montanita is a real cool place, but still, it's a real place, and like anywhere else, it has its own problems. The biggest danger waits in the water, and no, it's not the sharks. Let's talk to Danny about the dangerous side of the speech. Montanita is a place where there are frecuente de olas grandes y, y no es eh, acto como para bañista porque es, eh, las, las corrientes son un, un poco fuertes y son muy difícil una vez en, estar dentro de la corriente es muy difícil volver a salir lo primero que hay que eh, hacer es eh, mantenerse con calma y mantenerse a flote alzando la mano si ya entraste la corriente que 
no logre intentar salir. Es mejor que si la corriente te lleva, que te lleve más adentro, que va a haber menos peligro que al momento que vas a empezar a salir. Porque estando adentro tú puedes eh, mantenerte a flote y, y cualquier persona, salva, salvavidas, voluntario, surfista, te puede ir a ayudar. Y la hora que se vuelve más peligroso aquí en Montañita es cuando la marea está un poco baja. Es donde las corrientes se forman, porque topan arena y comienzan a querer jalar y hacen turbulencia. Y justamente hoy me fui a Santa Elena y me encuentro con la sorpresa que se estaban yendo ocho personas, pero de las ocho personas se murió una persona, una chica. Y me siento triste porque queríamos empezar este año sin, sin ninguna persona, sin ninguna víctima fallecida. We barely finished talking and Danny got called into action when a group of tourists got caught in the current. Fortunately, the lifeguards came to the rescue on time. Ya hace hace uno a unos minutos siete chicos se se fue a la corriente y como ellos no saben en cómo salir de la corriente en vez de nadar horizontal y después vertical ellos empezaron a salir con contra la corriente y es donde más se cansa y donde pasa el peligro. Pero gracias a Dios todo salió bien, todas las personas se rescataron sin ninguna novedad por el momento. Many parts of Ecuador suffer from crime, including violent crime. Let's talk to a local police officer and find out what the situation is like here. Es mucho más seguro que en otras ciudades porque porque aquí tenemos servicio policial las 24 horas del día. Nuestras unidades son patrulleros, tenemos nosotros cuadrones, tenemos nosotros motocicletas para que el servicio sea mucho más eficiente y eficaz. Actualmente existe problemas con con abuso de de alcohol de drogas, pero igual la Policía Nacional está empeñada en sanear esa, esa situación. Por eso acá viene personal de antinarcóticos. De antinarcóticos vienen ellos, son policías que, que vienen vestidos como ustedes, ellos miran, observan y, y en ese aspecto de drogas van y, y eliminan ese tipo de, o se trata de controlar. En toda la Ruta del Sol está muy perfecto, muy seguro, mucho más seguro que otras ciudades, así que les invito, la Policía Nacional les invita que vengan a disfrutar de nuestras playas, de nuestro sol, para que tengan una buena imagen de aquí del Ecuador. Dear parents, please send dear money. Aliyah is writing home, trying to figure out how she can extend her stay. The town is growing fast, with people more eager to talk about the future rather than the past. La montañita podemos verla en 10 años más adelante, así como ha venido dando sus realces. Eh, Montañita tenemos la ahorita alternativa de extender al pueblo, de que Montañita sea un pueblo no tan pequeño como ahora que tiene unas ocho, ocho calles. Tenemos un sector de la playa que es el doble de esto. Everybody wants a piece of that tourist dollar, so hotels sprout on every corner of every street, and everybody has a room to rent with various levels of amenities. We would have liked to stay here, but we ended up staying here. Aliyah wasn't impressed, but that's what happens when you have champagne taste and beer money. So how do people see the changes that Montanitz is experiencing? Actually starting to see the real change over here only like two years ago, two, three years ago when there was the change of the provinces. And then they started fixing up the road. And then they started fixing up the streets here outside. Started cleaning up, started bringing more police, more control. Um, and of course, more and more and more publicity. And the last two years is actually when Montanita started really kicking high. To me, it has changed for the worse. For locals, I would say it has changed for better. Now we have more buildings, way way many more restaurants. Uh, now we have international cuisine here. Now you don't need, for example, now you arrive and you see all the, all the streets have been um, 
I would say um, eaten by uh, modernization, by globalization. Why? Because it's nicer. Now it's nicer. Now you will not have, I'm pretty sure, the problem that you had many years ago when it rained. There, there was no way that you could actually leave your hotel and go somewhere else because you had about 40, 50 centimeters of mud. So you were pretty much stuck and then talking to all the people in the, you know, in the hotel. That was uh, the thing that made Montañita magical. That you can actually make friends, meet people from all over the world, and you didn't need internet. There's a lot of more money. At the same time, there's more delinquency in Montañita. Now it's noisy. Back then, all that you heard was the surf breaking, waves, um, people talking, chatting, uh, having fun, sharing experiences, all surfing experiences. Now here in Montañita has, um, has nightclubs, good ones, big hotels, it has uh, restaurants, many places where you can drink, many places where you can um, just have fun, yes, but it's different. It's not. It has lost that um, that rustic touch that it had. I saw a big building back there when I was surfing this afternoon that is um, six stories uh, high and that is going to start um, messing up with the, with the picturesque town that, he, that it is right now but it will not be in the future because um, people they are already buying the properties and making them bigger and bigger and bigger and they are not using what is um, the local um, construction uh, materials. Montañita was magic because you, you had the, po the possibility of coming here and just being you. Now it's turning back into you know wearing the best board shorts, great shirts, uh, drinking the best and if you are looking for that you, you better not come to Montañita because that's, I mean, there are other cities and or other towns where you can do that. Miami Beach. <laughs> That's what I see, you know. Lots of people can say it's a good thing. Lots of people say it's, uh, I don't know, it loses it, its, its energy. I believe uh, from living here the last couple of years that Montanita has grown seriously at the last couple of years, but hasn't changed too much. Thanks to the local people, the people that live here, the people that were here before all of us uh, gringos. There could be, I don't know, politically wars up in Guayaquil, problems with the, pro with the presidents, with Korea up in Quito, and Montanita fills up on Saturday and people keep on drinking and partying. It's like, it's a bubble, it's, it's outside, it's in Ecuador, but it's outside, afuera del país, like outside of the country. No dear money's coming in Leah's way. So her trip's about to end. But she's already making plans to come back. So, will the changes keep an old timer like Andres away from Montanita? No. <laughs> no, because uh, the waves are great. That's something that, it, I mean, Montanita has, um, has kept all along this time. The waves are awesome waves so you get um, every time there's a north swell then you just come to Matint and then you get two meter three meters huge waves just for you uh, if you wake up early in the morning good thing about Montañita is that all the people is um, hungover so you can just have pretty much the seat all for yourself um, but it will not stop me now because even though I don't I don't agree with what Montañita it is right now at the moment I think Montañita has, uh, has improved the way of living for many locals. I think not everything is for bad, but as um, civilization comes along, there are other problems that come with civilization. But development around, if it's clean new roads, if it's nice new hotels, will only give us the option to welcome more people, to serve more people in a higher class, okay, and enjoy Montañita in a different kind of way. But I hope Montañita goes back a bit and then they, they create a law, something like that, or uh, in which they, cannot, they can stop building high, um, uh, high buildings and just keep it basic and magical. So people will, will say, that's a place where I want to be. Whether you're excited or worried about the future of Montañita, the place is still here to be enjoyed.
So find a way to make your way to Montanita in case this paradise is lost too. So, Aliyah's heading back home. But not me. There's still more that awaits me. I'm making my way up the coast to another beach town that's supposed to be like Montanita 20 years ago. Don't hold it against me, but I'm not gonna help you find it. So, just go out there and find your own Montanita 